Good morning, first graders. It is Tuesday, March 24th, 2020. So this morning I woke up and I thought I am going to try to find the same things that we have on our calendar in our classroom to do this activity with you today. And so I found almost some of the same things. Um, we have a chart in our classroom that goes up to 180. And so this is not the exact chart from our room, but it does go up to 180. I took a picture of this chart and I'm gonna send it to you on Seesaw. And then this is a chart. This, is, this might just blow your minds. Check this out. This chart goes all the way to 180. But look, it goes down. It starts one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then you go up for eleven. So this also goes to one hundred eighty, but it's set up totally differently. And so it's tens, but the tens go down. So it's almost like ten rods that go down. Interesting. I wonder how many go across. Let's count how many boxes go across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So eighteen boxes go across. Huh. So interesting. I hope when you get that on Seesaw that you get a chance to just kind of check that out a little bit. So let's go ahead and let's count our days of school on our charts. And so we're actually gonna start at the very beginning because we haven't written on any of these yet. So yesterday we were at 137. So I'm actually gonna find 137 on this chart right here first. And so I know that I'm gonna be in the hundreds and I know that it's gonna be in the thirties. So I'm looking for the one and the three and that might be a little tricky to see, but I, again, I bet you could find it on your picture on Seesaw. So that's 131, and then here's 137. So I'm gonna put a check mark right there just to remind me that that's where I was yesterday. But I'm gonna start right here, and if you're at home and you're watching this, I want you to count with me. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Whew. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138. So today we've been in school for 138 days. So we could say 100 plus 30 more plus 8 more. So 138. And I don't have a paper to do rods and tens or 10 rods and ones, but I thought I could do it right here. Pretty easy peasy. So 
I'm going to make our 100 block right here. It's actually called a 100 flat. I learned that today. And we're going to do three tens. 10, 20, 30, and then eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have ones, tens, and hundreds. And so if we want to find 138 on this other chart over here, it's so interesting because if I want to count by tens, I can actually start at the bottom and go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. Wow. So if this is where 130 is, 138 is actually right here because it goes 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138. So that is the one for today. So I would really encourage you to check this out, these pictures right here when I send these to you on Seesaw. Um, if you guys wanna send back to me, um, you could actually take this I could, you know what, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send it to you as an activity on Seesaw. And in that activity, I want you guys to um, circle 138. And I think I'm gonna actually have you color in fives and tens. And so it would be five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and then so on. So again, this is something we've never done before, but you can handle it. You guys know what to do. And then I also printed out our 10 frames that we use. So we've got, and I'm just gonna put dots in here for right now. I'll probably go back and fill those in a little bit thicker. But in our classroom, the 10 frames go down, but because of the way my printer printed them out, it was just a lot easier for me. Oh, sorry, I skipped these. It was a lot easier for me to just cut them like this and put them in here. And so I'm just putting dots in these frames and every time there's a frame, I know that there are 10 inside of there. And so if we are at 138 days of school, I know I need to fill in all of the dots until I get to the 10 frame that says, ooh, it's coming off my little easel right here. You know, I'm gonna move this over here for just a sec. Thank you for being so patient with me. Just like in our classroom, things happen that we don't expect. And especially with this new kind of learning that we're doing, I think a lot of things are gonna happen that we're not expecting. All right, so I'm almost to 130. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138. And I think you'll notice this actually goes all the way to 200. But this right here, I'm going to put a star right here. That's our last day of first grade. So there you go. There's our calendar and our days of school for today. Um, in a little while, I'm going to send you guys some videos on um, the EA sound that you guys have in phonics. I'm going to send some of the math problems. And then at 11 o'clock today, we have our Zoom call. So I really hope that all of you can get on our Zoom call. And when you get on that Zoom call with Mrs. Mendoza today, I'm going to ask you guys to make sure that you are sitting in a chair, that you're sitting up just like you would at school. Um, I suppose you could be sitting on the floor if that's comfortable for you, but Mrs. Mendoza is going to read a story to you. Um, we are going to maybe do a word problem together. We'll see how that goes and just get a chance to just check in with each other, see how we're feeling and see what things are looking like for us. So again, when we do that Zoom call, your job, when you come in, we're going to mute ourselves so that we can't hear ourselves and that 
my voice is the only voice you can hear. And then if what you would like to do is talk, then you're, you'd raise your hand and then you can unmute yourself, okay? Um, and so we're gonna make sure that we aren't laying in our beds, that we aren't wrapped up in blankets. I know we're at our house, but we're gonna try to do a little bit of school and we're gonna try to make it as schooly as we possibly can. So give it a try. Um, if you have little brothers and sisters, maybe um, there's a place that you can go with um, your iPad or your phone or your laptop to make sure that you aren't as distracted by other siblings, other brothers and sisters and things going on in your home. That may be hard, I totally get it. But let's just give it a try. Let's see what it's like to just be sitting up and listening to a story and doing a word problem. And I have something special that I wanna share with you on Zoom today. I figured something out on Zoom. I can share part of my screen with you. And so I'm hoping maybe you would let me try that out today. So I can't wait to talk to you guys.